but this is a common occurrence these days. Um, boys send photos themselves to girls as well. Sometimes the photos are meant to stop at the recipient. Sometimes they're intended for distribution. Do you think that 13 and 14 year olds or 15 year olds are smart enough to understand they put themselves at risk when they do this kind of behavior? The, the girls that you, you, you talk to, do they have any idea or are they just stone cold dumb? Well, bear in mind, some of these pictures were taken two or three years ago, and they surface now, but some of these girls were 11, so they could be perhaps understood as being a little more innocent or um, thoughtless. Um, some kids perhaps are looking for attention. Some see Lindsay Lohan doing this kind of thing and want to do it themselves. Um, some but it's are an, It's an amazing amount of, of kids involved with this, 20. In an affluent school district, this isn't, you know, the inner city, you would think that these kids would have some kind of a value system. It's not that it's so horrendous, it's, it's, you know, it's not murder or rape, but it's so stupid. True, but it's very common as well, and the adults... Do you think it's very common across the country? I've talked to police today who say it's quite common. It's been a big issue at their juvenile officer conferences. It's been reported in Utah, Connecticut, Texas, New York, previously in New Jersey, I believe. So it's all, and kids as young as 11 are doing it. Yeah, because cell phones are so oh, I know that. everywhere. Yeah. I mean, the technology makes it, makes it very easy to do it. Now, Inga, what I think this is is lack of a values education. In public school, they don't have value, teach values anymore, civics or any of that. You can't tell the kids what's right and wrong. You'll get in trouble. Right. And if kids at home don't have parents who set boundaries, and many of them don't, then it's inevitable that some of them will do this. I still think that they're incredibly dumb. Your kids wouldn't do this, would they? No. You have a what, a 13-year-old? I have a 15-year-old and a 17-year-old. Okay. An 11-year-old boy. Why wouldn't your kids do it? Because I have talked to them, and I have taught them that that would be wrong. Now, when they found out about it, what did they tell you? They, they came home and said, uh, it's big news has happened at school. And um, they were, you know, they were shocked and sa saying that they are, they can't understand why anybody would do that. So they, I, I understand that your 15 year old knows some of the girls who did this. Yes. And did she say why these girls would do it? No, not, not, not really. Okay, so the, she doesn't know why they would do it. See, that's, that's the missing ingredient here that's disturbing. Unless the kid is really limited intellectually, they got to know they're putting themselves at risk by allowing this stuff to happen because it whips all over the town and all over the world. Well, I, I, I think that they really do not understand what, what will happen. Inga, I'm I'm a, uh, look, I was the stupidest kid in the world. <laughs> All right, I was a real thug. I never would have done anything like this. Right. All right, I mean, there was stuff going on in Levittown that was un it wasn't like anything like this with the technology, but people would offer, do this, do that. And we said, no, no come on. You know, my, parent, my, it, my father will kill me mm -hmm. or something like that. But that fear, did you find any fear in these kids? That 